episode 11. In our last episode, Sandokan and his men had set a trap for Lord James and his soldiers. Thanks to the brave and clever planning of Yanez, the plot worked, and the lovely Lady Mariana was finally set free. When they returned to their ship anchored in a safe harbor, they found that the wicked Raja of Sarawak had sent his commandant to capture them. But Sandogan had left some valiant men to protect his ship, and they managed to turn the tables on the Raja's commandant. When he came aboard with his soldiers, Sandokan's men stayed in hiding and then jumped out in a surprise attack. They had no trouble taking them prisoner. They put the commandant and the captain in a small boat and set their soldiers adrift on the sea. Today's adventure begins innocently enough as two honest fishermen gather their daily catch. <clears throat> if that should do it for today, Egbert. We're not too far from Moan Praesum. Let's drop by and say hello, huh? Splendid idea, Ignatius. We can give the pirates some of our catch. We've got plenty today. Oh. They don't look like our friends the pirates. I don't know them. They don't look very friendly. Who goes there? Get that boat to shore in a hurry by order of the Raja of Sherowick. <laughs> Who told you to come here? Were you sent to spy on us? Good gracious, no, sir, not us. Well, we're just poor but honest fishermen, sir. <laughs> Rich but crooked smugglers, I'll wait you. Search their boat for contraband. Aye, aye! <laughs> That's the way. Those fish are there to hide something. It may be jewels. <laughs> What's down there? Well, what did you find? Oh, I, I, oh, I! All right, you two, get into that silly boat of yours and take your fish out of here. I, 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 All right, I'm letting you go this time, but don't let me catch you around here again. You hear? What a grumpy guy! Yeah. But if the Raja's soldiers have taken over Santa Can's home, where have the pirates gone? Then we're all agreed to the new plan. Yanis will take command of the ship we captured, and together we'll all sail back to Mom Prasum. We'd better be on our way. The Raja's going to be pretty upset when he finds out that we've seized one of his vessels and sailed away in it, setting the crew adrift. And not to mention how furious Lord James is going to be about us making off with his niece, Lady Mariana. Yes. It was very clever of me to come up with that plan of ambushing Lord James' soldiers and rescuing the Lady Mariana. Really, Crackers, is there nothing you don't lay claim to as you're doing? Sure, Gerald's cooking. Don't blame me for that. <laughs> <laughs> According to you, all we had to do was board Sandokan's empty ship and it was ours. Don't blame me, it was your idea. No use crying over spilt milk. The fact is we failed and now we're doomed. The Raja said I had to capture Sandokan. This was my last chance. You know, they say the island of Bambari, well, it's just like paradise. The living is easy. What are you saying? If we go back to Kinbalu, the Raja will feed us to the sharks. By golly, I hereby resign my position as Commandant to the Raja of Sarawak. I'm a free man! Well? Goodbye, Raja. Hello, Bambury. <laughs> That's the way! Now finish him off! What are you waiting for? Am I the only ruthless one around here? I can't do it, oh magnificent one. I cannot kill a defenseless man. Bah, what has the Commandant been teaching you? How to fight fair, I suppose? And where is my commandant? Where is the captain? If those two idiots have failed again... Why am I always surrounded by incompetence? Do I have to go and destroy Sandokan myself? Well, I really don't know, okay? What well, maybe... Shut up! I wasn't talking to you! Now start the fight over again! And make it good! And this time, do try to kill each other. I am not cheering up. With all the excitement of rescuing you, I didn't get a chance to introduce you formally to the rest of my men. This is Captain Jiro Batal. Sir, I'm delighted to meet you. Me too, I'm sure. I don't mean I'm delighted to meet me, you see. You see, I've met me before. I'm delightful to meet you. With you steering the ship, I'm sure we'll weather every storm. And speaking of steering the ship, Jiro. Whoa! <laughs> 
I hope you're planning to introduce us too. Naturally. This Lady Mariana is Patan, a fine fighter, a brave sailor, and a superb spy. Welcome aboard, my lady. I'm glad you're here. And now this is Malco. You'll find he doesn't talk unless he has to. A man of few words, you know. Actions speak louder than words. Ah, and he's an expert on action, be it with sword, stick, or knife. Malco is a ferocious fighter, always ready to defend his honor. Or anyone else's honor, for that matter. To have such a valiant warrior with us is most reassuring. Milady. And before I forget, there's two other characters over here that I think you'll find interesting. So she's a lady, is she? Supposed to be royalty? Well, that don't impress me. You won't catch me fawning all over her like the rest of you do. Treat everybody the same. That's my motto. What is she anyway? Just another pretty face. Hello, lads. <coughs> Mariana, this is Sambig Leone. Glad to meet you. He's my trusted lieutenant. But watch out for him. He's a confirmed practical joker. And he eats enough for three. And here's crackers. A real pleasure to be sure, your highness, and all that kind of stuff. Hang me for a slimy 12-armed octopus if I'm not at your beck and call day and night. Please, don't mind this riffraff. They ain't got the education of refined folk like us. What do you say, lady? Let's stick together. Hmm. So you don't believe in fawning over visiting royalty? I just wanted her to know there was another classy person aboard. Say, you don't happen to have any spare fish heads, do you? For a snack. Meanwhile, at Lord James's mansion, everything had gone wrong. Yanez had led Lord James and his soldiers into an ambush. Well, a fine lot of mansion guards you turned out to be! Sorry, Lord James, you see it. Never mind your excuses! But if you allow me Silence! To... I don't know how we could possibly have mistaken you for a pirate and let that Yanez hell fool us into thinking he was you! It's beyond me! Yeah, beyond me too, sir. I don't look anything like one of those uncouth pirates. Hmm! And my poor Mariana carried off by a pirate. Who knows what misfortunes will befall her in the company. And I'm sure she's already sorry she went with them. Looks as if there's a small squall coming up, sir. A bad one, Captain? Oh, no. We've seen a lot worse than this one. I was only thinking of the lady. You're right. Look over there, Lady Mariana. There's a storm coming up. Perhaps you should go below till it's over. Then you'd best close haul the sails right away. See that the lines are slack. And secure every loose object from stem to stern. Anything else? Well, yes. If the waves get too high, be sure to run the ship through the trough. You don't want to pitch pole and capsize. Would you say I'm right, Captain Gerald? Right as rain, m'lady. She's a dilly, sir. Feed me to the crabs if she ain't. A treasure. That she is, Captain Giro. That she is. Getting close to Mom Fraser? No, this is the island of Nye, Mariana, where our fishermen friends live. They too have been persecuted by the Raja of Sarwick and his marauding soldiers. Prepare to drop anchor, men! Are they the Raja ships? No, my golly, if I'm not mistaken, those are Sandokan ships, and he's coming here! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> It gives me great pleasure to visit your lovely island again. And now, my friends, we'd like to speak with your chief, if you please. With the greatest of pleasure, sir. Please follow us. <laughs> Here we are, sir. Sandokan! I'm delighted to see you again, chief. Goodness me! Sophie, hurry us some food! Racky, bring fresh water for us! Someone get some pillows! Sandokan himself here in my village! Goodness me! So, two of your fishermen found the Raja of Sarawak's men still on Mon Prasum. Yes, I'm afraid your home has been turned into a permanent base for the evil Raja! It's just as I feared, Sandokan. They hope to keep us from coming to land anywhere. We're an easy target that way. Is there news of my other men? The ones we were forced to leave behind? Sorry to say this, but the rumor is that the Raja's men have gathered up your followers, taken them to Mon Prasum, and put them in a prison there, Sandokan. 
then we'll have to free them. I'm afraid that may be difficult. I know, Yanez, but I will not leave my men in the hands of that cruel monster. Can I count on your help in the battle to come? Yes, by all means. You know we are loyal to you and your cause, sir. San Miguel, where are you, you old son of a whale? Are you hiding from me? Who on earth is that? That's my old pal, Retla. He must want to have a fight. But I don't understand. You will soon. Let's go watch. You've put on some weight since our last match, Redlaw. Yeah, and I'm stronger, too. Ready? My pleasure. Uh, I feel invincible yeah. today. <laughs> That's good. Because I've always uh, beaten you before. Sandican, uh, should you help San Big Leon? The other fellow is bigger and stronger. Appearances can be deceiving, Mariana. Have you had enough now? Your trouble is you let yourself get overconfident and then you can't win. I guess so. Anyway, Redlaw, cheer up. You never lasted that long before. Gee, I must be good. <laughs> <laughs> You know, Yanez, I can't decide which you look better in, the Labuan uniform or the Raja of Sarawik's uniform. The Raja must have very small soldiers. I had to really stuff myself into this one. Well, maybe if you didn't stuff so much into yourself every time you eat, it'd fit better. <clears throat> My dear Yanez, you're sailing into grave danger. I'm worried about you. We have no choice. If our plan is going to succeed, I must go to Montpresum and in disguise. You be careful. And may we soon meet again on a free mom prison. For Sandal Cannon Glory! For Sandal Cannon Glory! For Sandal Cannon Glory! He's not Manado, and he's not in Borneo, and we know for a fact he's not anywhere in the Java Sea. Oh, look at that. So what does that leave? The rest of Indonesia? No, 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 no. I'll tell you where to find Sandal Cannon and his band of followers. Right here, on their way to Bunguran Island. Begging your pardon, Your Excellency. But how can you be sure of that? Perhaps they're returning to Montpresum. That's impossible! You idiot! Montpresum has been taken over by the Raja of Sarovic's men. Use your head! Montpresum! Those cowardly pirates wouldn't sail within 50 miles of Montpresum. Land ho! Ah, that's Montpresum ahead. Now, remember everyone, I am Admiral Zene. Zene? Yes, it's Yan is backwards, understand? And as for you, Malco, we'll say that you're my captain, and my first mate will be you, San Big Leon. How come he gets to be captain? Because I have leadership qualities. Now, you come on, so. men, stop you arguing. It's like all settled. I do too, Malco. You certainly do not. Yes, I do. Hey, that's one of our ships. That's funny. I don't think the Major is expecting reinforcements this morning. Anyway, who can say? Perhaps they have a message from the Raja. Oh, officers! Oh! Snap to it! Admiral Zene doesn't like to be kept waiting! You men secure the ship, and then get back to your regular duties. I'll be leaving you men in charge here, and you, you can take me to your commanding officer immediately, is that clear? Right away, sir! You'll learn that with a man like that, you have to do what he says quickly. A tough one, isn't he? He certainly is. Who is he? Really? You mean you don't know? Why, that's the famous terror of Malaysia himself. You've never heard of Admiral Zene, the Raja's favorite? You better watch your step. What's the delay here? Nothing, sir. Coming right now. And the giant fish said, I will spare you this time. And so the fisherman sailed back to his home and family and lived happily ever after. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't see you there, Sandokan. Run along now, children. I know you have chores to do at home for your parents. Thank you, Lady Mariana. You've been so kind to the children, Lady Mariana. They love you very much. Lady Mariana, you know we'll be leaving for Mom Prayson soon. I expect there'll be a battle when we get there, so I think it would be better for you to stay here in safety till it's over. I swore I would follow you wherever you go, and I meant it, Sandokan. Is that understood? So be it. I felt pretty sure I wouldn't be able to dissuade you, but I certainly felt it was my duty to try. We're off to Mom. Praise them together. And furthermore, it was part of your duty here to eliminate the threat of pirates in this area. I've been doing my best, sir. The Raja has sent me here to do the job properly, because obviously you have failed miserably. 
Gee, I've worked really hard. I've combed all the neighboring islands, and I captured plenty of pirates, sir. I've got them locked up in the cellar. Good. They'll be a big help. We'll make them tell us what Sandokan is planning. You there! Take us to the prisoners immediately. Walk this way, sir. Oh, 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 what a high-handed, stuck-up nobody! I've never heard of an Admiral Zene. Begging your pardon, sir, but he's the famous tough guy they call the Terror of Malaysia. Oh. I hear he's a real favorite of the Raja. No! What's all this? Important visitors to see the prisoners. Uh, of course, gentlemen. Come right this way. Lead on. We've got those pirates all locked up. So I see. It's good to see you marauding bandits are where you belong. But I thought you... Ha! You do well to stare. No doubt you recognize me. Yes, I am he, your arch enemy, Admiral Zene, face to face. He strikes fear in your hearts, doesn't he, sailors? Oh, no, no, dear me, no. Not the cruel Admiral Zene. I'll be back to question you soon, and you'd better be ready to tell me everything you know, or else. Admiral Zene doesn't mince words, does he? Judging from what I've seen so far, those pirates are in for a surprise. A real surprise. Surprise? By golly, that's the word I was looking for. Surprise. Remember, you have to begin just before the sun comes up if our plan is to succeed. Oh, uh, we'll be ready, all right, sir. Never fear. Good luck to you. Let's get underway, Captain Gerald Batal. Aye, aye. Good luck to us all, Sandokan. Yes, Batan. We may need it. It's utter nonsense to keep men posted here. Sorry, sir, but those were my orders and I must carry them out. See, Admiral, this is the route that Sandokan and his men followed to escape from us when we first raided the island, understand? They got down these cliffs, made it to their ships, and got clean away from us. Baron William and the Commandant were fit to be tied, as you can well imagine. Since then, we've been posted at the back of the island here by orders of the Major. This is a total waste of time and men. The pirates will attack from the front, not from the back. Take me to the Major, and quickly. Right away, Admiral. Nobody told me anything about pirates attacking. I heard the Major say the pirates would never return. Did you hear that? We're going to be attacked! Well, how many pirates did the Admiral say were coming? That's enough. I've had it up to here with that Admiral Zene. Anyway, the Raja left me in charge here, not him. Major! You thick-headed nincompoop! You insubordinate dunderhead! What on earth do you think you're doing? I can't believe my ears! Are you talking to me, sir? Yes! Now listen! Where did you get the idiotic idea of having your men posted on guard at the back of the island? Well, I... The attack will never come from the back! Hmm... It'll come from the front! I suppose you're right, sir. Attack? Admiral Zene has learned what the pirates intend to do. There are hundreds of ruthless marauders headed this way. Santa Cana's followers, both far and wide. Rebels and unruly roughnecks. They are determined to recapture Mompresum no matter what it takes. They're armed to the teeth. An all-out barrage and aim directly at the front of the island. Fierce fighters! Uh, Their plan is to catch you off guard. Yeah, but, but when is this attack supposed to happen? Yes, when? As I told you, tomorrow morning! Tomorrow? You heard the Admiral summon the men from the back of the island now! The attack will be coming from the front! Why do I have to tell you things over and over again? Sorry, sir. This time, don't forget, the attack will take place only hours from now. You mean to tell me? You not only failed to capture Sandokan, but he actually stole your ship? It was the Commandant's plan and it failed. Ah, the bumbling oaf! Where is he? I don't know, Your Magnificence. He and the Captain left and we never saw them again, oh gracious one. Too bad. I was hoping I could feed them to my pet sharks. I'm surrounded by hopeless bunglers and bumblers! Uh, well, this is the last straw. Prepare all my ships. If these inept simpletons of mine can't destroy Sandokan, I'll have to do it myself! You've done your job well, Captain Jiro. Sailing through these dangerous reefs is difficult enough in the daytime and much worse at night. I don't know how you do it. Thank you, Sandokan. You, Crackers, have the men drop the anchor. The time, prepare the dinghies. Aye, aye! We are very fortunate to have passed so safely through these waters. Thank you, Captain Jiro. Yes, Lady Mariana, but I fear the greatest danger is still ahead on Mon Prison. <laughs> Thank you.
I hope you're enjoying your meal. Never mind the pleasantries. There's important work to be done. Now I would like to interrogate the prisoners. Would you like me to accompany you, Admiral? What for? So you can show me you're just as hopelessly inept at questioning pirates as you are at planning a battle against them? You two, come with me. Yes, yes sir. sir. Hmm. Attention! Hmm. We're on our way to talk to the prisoners. There's no need for you to come with us. Impossible, sir. I am not allowed to let anyone speak to the pirates unless I am there. That is exactly the reply I had hoped you would make, young man. Really? Yes. Ever since I arrived here, I've been appalled at the lack of discipline. Someone's doing his duty. Thank you, sir. Captain, get this man's name. I want him to be given a medal. Yes, sir. Congratulations. You did well. Gee, I was just trying to do my job, Your Honor. You men get all the pertinent information. I'll be right back. Hi. Now, uh, what's your name? Yaj. Yaj McKendrick. You're a fine man, Yaj. You'll go far. It's Yanis. Shh. Just be patient a little longer, men. You'll be out of there soon. We'll be ready, sir. If all goes as planned, someone will be here to release you by morning. And then there'll be a fine battle. But if things don't go so well, we may all end up here. When the time comes, look lively. For Sandokan and glory. Yes, for Sandokan and glory. Once again, the evil Baron William is setting a deadly trap for our heroes. And the detested and odious Raja of Sarawak is hatching a plot against our friends that will expose them to new dangers.